Hi, buddy. It's been such a long time since I've seen you. I'm so happy to see you again. How have you been? Good. How are your folks? Good. Glad to hear it. How's your dad? That's good. All right, so I'm going to get you checked in, and then we can do your exam, and then maybe we'll look at some frames. How fun. All right. Name the same as ever. Excellent. Is the address the same as last time I saw you? I have 4122 Mr. Sherman Drive. Okay, we've moved. Good. Honestly, I never felt great about you being on Mr. Sherman Drive. It can be a Okay, what have we got? And the zip code for that area? Okay. So last time I saw you, you were in college, but I think you've graduated. Have you graduated? Congratulations! Two whole years ago? That's insane! Okay, great! So what's the occupation? What are we doing these days? Cool! Do we have insurance? Awesome! Do you have that card for me? Could I take a peek? Great! Thank you so much! Is this through your work? Love that. That's great. Are you currently wearing any glasses or contacts today? Okay, makes our job easy. Are you currently taking any medications? Any Seroquel, Lexapro, Prozac? Okay. What dosage are you taking? Anything else, even over-the-counter vitamins, anything like that. If you take ibuprofen pretty frequently, I'd love to know about that. Okay. All right. Do you smoke any tobacco products, any cigarettes, any black and milds, any cigars, any spliffs, anything like that? You can tell me the truth also. I don't know if you're lying or not right now, but I'm not your mom, I'm not your dad. I'm not here to get you in trouble if you're taking tobacco products. I just wanna know about that in terms of the long-term health of your eyes. Okay. Any recreational drugs that we're using or prescription drugs that we're using as if they were recreational drugs? We're talking marijuana, we're talking perks, we're talking molly, acid, anything like that. Good for you, okay. find yourself spending a lot of times around fire, um, bonfire, arson, grills, charcoal grills, any fire. Fire is so bad for the eyes, it's just something I need to be aware of if we are spending a lot of time around fire. Okay. Have you seen that show, Little Fires Everywhere? It, it was, uh, it's been a couple years now since that came out, but I swear everything Reese Witherspoon puts her name to is gold. I just love that woman. All right. 
do you do any welding professional or amateur and if you are participating in welding activities are you using the protective eye gear that's necessary during that okay no welding at all do you do any dune buggying okay and when you do dune buggying do you wear protective eye gear you need to wear protective eye gear if you're doing bugging. That sand is just so, so bad for those corneas, that iris, those irises. Do you swim in pools with any level of frequency? Okay, and when you do swim in a pool, do you open your eyes underwater? All right, try not to do that. No offense, but you've got your big kid job now. There's really no reason to be going underwater and opening your eyes in a chlorine pool. If we could work out a way to where your lifestyle doesn't um, require that, that would be excellent. Do you swim in the ocean with any level of frequency? Okay, and do you open your eyes underwater in the ocean? Hey, again, I'd love for that, I'd love for that behavior to stop. And how about lakes or rivers? Are we spending any time swimming in lakes or swimming in rivers? Okay, and are we opening our eyes underwater when we swim in the lake, when we swim in the river? Please don't do that anymore, I'm begging you. All right, let's talk about your contacts really quick. Do you ever wear those contacts to bed? Okay. Can we try that again? Because I do feel that I've been lied to that you've been trying to deceive me. I noticed that when I asked you if you ever wore your contacts to bed, your eyes went there, your eyes went there. They did not land on my eyes. So do you ever wear your contacts to bed? Sometimes. I can't tell you, I can't emphasize enough how bad it is to wear your contacts to bed. There have been so many people with gorgeous, stunning, functional eyes that wore their contacts to bed and now they have glass eyes. Those glass eyes don't see. So maybe think about that the next time that you wear those contacts to bed, all right? Okay. Okay. We're going to start with our glaucoma test. I know that this isn't anybody's favorite test, but it is necessary. Do me a favor, look straight at me. You're gonna feel a puff of air in your eye. I need you to try your hardest to stay still while you're experiencing that air. Hold still, hold still, hold still. Okay. Let's try that again on the other eye. Hold still, hold still, hold still. Hold still, hold still. Okay. Let's try the whole test one more time. I know it can be difficult to hold still 
when you're getting a big old puff of air in your eye. I cannot overstate though how important it is that you hold perfectly still, okay? Let's try it one more time and this time I want you to grab your legs and I want you to tell them stop moving, okay? So that we can get an accurate reading. Are you ready? some big blinks. Get that moisture back in those eyes. Let's get ready for the other eye. I think we knocked that eye out of the park. Hold still. Keep still, keep still. Okay. No glaucoma. Yay. Okay. You're already sitting exactly how I need you to be sitting. For this test, I'm going to show you a series of images. And I need you to let me know when that image becomes clear. Okay. Here we go. Let me know when you can see a star. Good. Let me know when you can see a moon. Excellent. Let me know when you see a peace sign. crystal clear for you. Good. Let me know when the image of a carrot becomes undeniably clear. Good. Let me know when the image of a hermit crab comes into focus. see a surfboard loud and clear. Give me a thumbs up on that one. Excellent. Now we're looking for a cross-eyed cat. If the cat just appears to be a normal cat, no eyes crossed, it's not the cat we're looking for. for the dog from Garfield. When you see a clear image of the dog from Garfield, give me that thumbs up. Good. 
We are now looking for the clear image of a purple monster juggling candy corn. Good. We have the image of a corgi that looks like it has its own podcast that we're looking for now. Good. We are now looking for an elephant that's also a referee that is balancing on a rolling ball. Good. Now we are looking for a stylistically quite different elephant riding a skateboard. Lovely. We are looking for a seal in a recliner. Oh, pardon me, that's more distant. A chair. Good. A pug with its head stuck in a donut. Good. And finally, what can only be described as a chicken nugget crossed with a human being. Excellent, you did great on that. Okay, you're sitting just perfect. I'm gonna show you some images and I want you to tell me which is the sharper option, okay? A or B. Okay, I understand that they look similar, but if you wouldn't mind just making a choice for me, which which is the sharper option? Is it A or B? They look similar, that's by design, but there is a subtle difference between them, and it's the difference between them. Um, you know, a prescription that will make your glasses the thickness of industrial plexiglass and, you know, these thin little baby glasses that you don't really need. So just give me an answer, which is the sharper one. Is it A or B? Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's try another one. Which is the sharper option? Is it A or B? All right, I understand. Let's still give it one more try. Which is the sharper option? Is it A or B? Okay. All right, next word. Which is the sharper option? Is it A? similar, but they're not the same. Let's just pick one. Is it A? Or is B the sharper option? Okay. Let's do this one more time. Is it A? Or is B the sharper option? Okay. B, the sharper option. A. Or is B the sharper option?
sharper option. Okay. If you're sure, I'll, I'll note that down. Okay, some good news. Despite your best efforts to destroy your eyes by wearing your contacts to sleep, you're unsuccessful and your eyes look healthy and happy and we have the money um, with your insurance plan to get you a new pair of glasses today. Whether or not you also order contacts, that glasses, that pair of glasses is included with your insurance. So if I were you, I would jump on it. I have a few pairs for you to try on. Are you interested in getting some glasses today? Love to hear it. Okay, let me show you a few of the options that we have. I think these are super funky and cool. We just got these in. They are by a brand called Sun Kissed. So as you may have guessed, they are transition lenses. They are made of 100% recycled materials. Uh, they are right eco-friendly. Um, scratch resistant, they come with a 10 year warranty, they are kind of on the pricey side, this pair is $350, $350, and then when we get those lenses included, that could be up to $400, so let's just try these on you. Oh wow, that's just stunning. I knew this would look great on you. So this is one option, the pair by Sunkist. I do believe I have a mail-in rebate for this pair, if you're interested in them. Um, I believe the rebate is for 25% back, so if you bought this pair of glasses, and I know that this can be tricky for you young folks to do, you would have to go online. Um, you would have to print out a form and then you would send that form, a physical copy of that form in um, and you would get 25% of, of the money that you spent on these glasses back. Okay, the next pair I have is from a similar collection, this time by Fruit by the Foot. They're very funky, they're very versatile, they have a lot of different colors in them, so they go with pretty much anything. If you've got blue in your outfit, they've got blue. If, they've got, if you've got green in your outfit, they've got green. If you've got red, white, etc. Um, this pair is also made of 100% recycled materials. There are no microplastics in these glasses. The lenses are made of 100% real glass. The lenses are not made of, um, what's that stuff called? Fiberglass. None of the lenses are made of fiberglass, so that's good, that's great. Um, this pair was designed in collaboration uh, with the rap artist Common. Um, he helped design this pair of glasses, so if you're a big Common fan, let's try them on. Oh, that looks great. I think these really um, bring out the angles in your face shape, if that's something you're interested in. These are also on the pricey side, you know, it's a collaboration with Fruit by the Foot and Comet, so you should pretty much expect for them to be on the pricey side. Um, I do believe the cost for this pair, I can double check, is uh, $2.95 plus the lenses and everything. Okay, let's look at our next pair. This pair is really great for outdoor wear. It is by the brand Speedo. A reflective lens so they protect your eyes in the sun. Uh, they seal to the eye, they have a suction cup seal to the eye, so that's really great if you're ever in situations where debris is flying all over the place, you can't really, them 
assure that your corneas aren't going to get scratched, your iris isn't going to get scratched. Um, to have a pair of glasses like this that truly suctions around your eye can be really helpful. Um, as you can see, this is in like a sleek, futuristic chrome color. Uh, these are not made of 100% recycled materials. These are made of plastic, glass, um, rubber, and maybe a bit of concrete. Let's see. Yeah, those are great on you. Yeah. Um, they also have this mirrored effect, so if anyone's staring at you, they're actually staring at themselves in your glasses, so uh, that could be huge for people have social things where they don't like to be in social situations, um, to have glasses that kind of reflect and push the social situation back on um, the other person can be really helpful. These are, these frames go for $190, so they're really affordable, um, and with your insurance that would be much lower, I believe that would come out to about $25, and then in addition we would order those lenses, so these would probably come out to around 100. Okay. This is the next pair. They're kind of funky. Um, you wear them a little differently than you do others. Uh, these are Prada. Um, so they are kind of pricey because they are designer. Uh, this pair goes for $545, $545. Your insurance would knock some of that off, but you know, medical insurance doesn't really cover Prada, so you would still have some money that you would, you know, have to shell out for them, but they're super funky, super cool. Oh, yeah, these look great on you. Maybe you just have the kind of face shape where you could wear anything. I have a lot of um, people that come in looking for glasses, and they've got just kind of trapezoid face, you know, the rhombus face, um, hexagon face, you know. These are made up 100% um, non-biodegradable plastics. Okay. I've got one more pair for you. These are a bit old. Um, I believe this collection is from 2014 or so. They're a tried and true pair of glasses. Um, I've been wearing this pair of glasses for a good many years. Um, this pair specifically. Uh, they are Bebe. They have a lovely little rhinestone detail on the side, if you can see that. They're blue. Kind of a purplish blue. They are $175. They're made of 100% non-biodegradable plastics and glass. Yeah, that's really lovely on you. These follow kind of more of the traditional glasses protocol. Uh, they follow the kind of traditional glasses format, if that's the type of glasses you're interested in. Kind of back to basics, back to old school glasses. These are that. Okay. That sounds like a plan. Okay, you've been such a lovely patient today. It is time for us to check out. Uh, we're getting the one pair of frames, which were originally $175, but with your insurance, they come down to $25. And if you decide not to get contacts at all today, then they would be entirely um, included with your insurance. But if you decide uh, to order contacts as well, they would be, the glasses would be $25. Okay, so we're going to do glasses and contacts. All right. Contacts. Would you like a year's supply? All right. supply. Would you like those shipped to the office or would you like those to be shipped um, to 
your home. Okay. Okay, your vision has gotten just a tiny bit worse um, since we last saw you. So you can still wear your old glasses. You can still wear new old contacts meaning please don't go put some contacts that you've had opened for several months in your eye um, but if they're brand new you can still wear them your prescriptions just change by a quarter or so which you will be able to see a little bit sharper out of your new contacts and out of your new glasses okay and the insurance is Med eye, yeah. Okay. And we did your checkup and your exam today. Again, your eyes look healthy. Uh, we can go ahead and schedule next year's exam for today. Uh, we don't have a cancellation fee, so if it comes around to next year and you're not available for, for whatever reason, um, you can cancel even 10 minutes before no fee. Okay, yeah, we'll just schedule you an appointment for this day, this time, next year. Yeah. Oh, why am I doing this part? Um, I've had a few girls quit on me in the past, um, couple of weeks so uh, yeah I've been a bit short staff um, it happens around this time of year girls start having babies and uh, yeah two of my girls uh, they just had babies and so they're out of the office for a good little while um, so you know I'm playing jack-of-all-trades I'm the doctor I'm the receptionist um, though some uh, of my girls prefer to be called administrators either way it doesn't matter to me um, and I am, you know, the, 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 the assistant as well. I'm, I'm putting on every hat today, aren't I? Yes, I'm just playing all the roles today, which I just, you know, um, I don't mind it. Uh, it's not been a super busy day, and I don't, I don't want to be in the way of uh, my girls having great families. They have great families. I do have a coupon that I can send you, and if you send that coupon in to the manufacturer, you can get 90% of the cost of your contacts back. I know, I know, it sounds like a huge task, a huge burden, but 90% you've got to consider sending in the coupon, okay? I'm going to email it to you. I know they make it difficult on purpose. I'm aware of that. <laughs> of course, um, you know, it is what it is. Okay, well, you're all set. You're all paid. Um, it's been such a pleasure to see you again. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. You've got this.